I've recently been having a lot of success using Google Groups as a discussion forum and getting my students to respond to topics and initiate their own topics, but it produces a bit of a problem in that they produce so much material that it's rather difficult to manage. I'd like to be able to respond on the screen to what they've written and to compliment or maybe argue with them. I've just started using Digo, which is a social bookmarking and annotation tool which is very promising. To begin with, Digo is very much like Delicious and uh, it enables you to find a web page that you want to keep track of so you create a bookmark for it and the bookmarks are stored online so they can be accessible anywhere. You put in tags which enable you to locate the bookmark and all the other ones that have similar tags and uh, then you can write a little description about the page to explain to yourself and to others who might be interested. So your bookmarks are nicely listed and you've got tags to search them all. Now back in groups, in the group discussion, here's how the annotation works. I find a bit of a uh, student comment that I want to say something about so I select and highlight that text and make a bookmark in Digo which uh, has a couple of tags to um, identify this uh, bookmark and I put Anthony, the name of the student and I put a, a tag that I've invented for this purpose called MM Groups and I save that. Now I go back to the highlighted text and create a sticky note and I'll make this one exclusive just to this group uh, that we're in so only the people in the group can see it. I write my comment, a pretty brief one in this case and then save that and that sticky note is added to this piece of student text. So this sticky note can be added to by Anthony or by anybody else in the class. Well this isn't a lot of use unless people can find it if they can locate it. So back in Digo now, here's my Digo page and any of my friends and acquaintances can have a look at this and I'll do a search on that keyword MM groups that I mentioned before. So up comes the uh, entry right here. So there it is and Anthony's name is listed and then one can go and find the text that's been highlighted and of course Anthony can do a search for MM groups and his name and he'll find whether there's a comment on his contributions to be uh, discovered and here's the sticky note. And there's a lot more to Digo than this little trick.